Hi, people. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hi, guys? Good evening. Hi. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, Walter. Guys, how is everything? Today is Friday. Yes, finally. Oh. Yes, teacher. Friday. Teacher. And always, and always I had a problem in platform. Sorry? Uh, I had a problem in the platform, the firmware 2.8. 2.8, okay, I understand, I understand. That's that's kind of weird because I finished it and my, my, my uh, sentences were correct. Uh, I'm going to report the mistake, okay? I'm going to report it with, with the administration uh, people because it's been giving us a lot of problems already. So I will try to do it today after class, okay? Thanks. Right, Ada, welcome, Sulma, Ana, uh, Gloria, Flor, Sulma, Lourdes, and uh, Walter, and Julia, and Flor. Thank you guys for being here. Yes. I'm so glad. I'm glad to see you again. Well, not to see you again. I'm I'm glad that you are still alive. <laughs> like yeah, I, I don't almost dead, but we made it to the oh, end of the week. We, exactly, we made it. We made it. Yay! <laughs> we deserve. We deserve to to have a, a celebration with with this, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. We we'll need Julia. it, teacher. <laughs> we need it. We do need it. Yes. All right. That's awesome. Yes. Welcome, Edwin and Alejandra. Thank you for being here. People, today is Friday, so that means that we need to celebrate that we are ending the week alive. Probably not healthy, not healthy, but alive. Still <laughs> living, you know? Yeah. Still causing problems in the world. <laughs> Teacher. Yes, tell me. I had I I I continue having problems in the platform. I I don't know yes. why, and mm -hmm. I had tried a lot of ways and I cannot answer it. Okay, let me tell you what I did, because I finished it and my examples were correct. All of okay. Them, all of them. The second one, the one with the third conditional. What mm -hmm. I did is this: I finished them all by myself. Okay. And then I click, I clicked on sub submit, but they were all incorrect. So I was like, wait, what is happening here? So I, I clicked on show answers. It showed me the answers, the ones that I had were correct. What I did was this, the answers that, that I got over there on the platform, I copied them and I pasted them in the, in the, in the, in the spaces. Until then, it was correct, but uh, uh, it's kind of weird. I, I could show you how, how it is, but, but uh, I think I will do it later after class. In that way, we, we, we, get, we all get to see how, how it is. Because when you, okay. uh, some of you has, have been sending me the, the, the screenshots of the mistakes. Uh, not mistakes, I mean, your examples or your answers are correct, but platform uh, somehow, it, it, it rejects them, so we will see what what happens later on. Okay, I will try to, to to see if I can show it to you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, no problem. All right. Yes. Welcome, Luis Ofelia. Thank you for being here, Jose and Pamela. Yes, people. Excellent. And Susan, she just got here too. Uh, and Carla, Wilfredo. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am fine. I'm happy. Why? There is no reason to be happy. You just have to be happy. It's just be happy. Teacher, teacher, everybody. It, it, it, everybody it, that's, is that's, happy. That's part of my happiness, you know, because it is Friday. It is part of my happiness, but there is no reason to be happy. So just be happy. It's but you, teacher, every day you are happy. Yes, of course. <laughs> Why not? No, no, yes. I, for me, it's okay. 
my, <laughs> my life. I am happy for you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, yes. My life sometimes is a mess, but there's no reason, there's no, no need to pay attention to bad things, you know. You just keep being happy. Yes. All right. Let me take attendance, people. Most of you are already here, which is weird because it's early. And you, you're usually late. Yes. So let, let me take attendance. Today's Friday is here. All right, let's do this. Let me see. Ana Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. No. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Yes, present Dr. teacher. Morán. Hi. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Lourdes uh, Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Luis Orlando Rodríguez Herrera. Here. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Hi, good evening. Uh, Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Rosa Elena Salgado. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susan Carolina Hernández. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. <laughs> Present teacher. Suma Rosaura López García. Present. Flor de María Carvalho Ugarte. Present. And Edwin Elizabeth Ayala Erazo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Ugarte. Okay. We are still missing a few people, but that's okay. We're going to start right now. <clears throat> yes, let's do this. Bye, right, guys. Uh, let me show you what we're going to be talking about today. And it's this. It is this, not this. Okay, this one. It says, Suggest a, co uh, a course of action to face crisis, okay? This is class number 17, and this is the topic that we are going to be discussing today. Of course, we're going to be talking about some other things, but this is the main thing that we're gonna be uh, practicing today, all right? Let's continue here, and I wanna show you the book on page 26, 27. People, go to page 27. We continue with unit three, managing crisis. And uh, on page 27, we have the objective of today's class. And that is, I will be able to suggest a course of action to face a crisis. Okay, that's the uh, objective for today's class. Then in part number one, we have two questions that we're gonna discuss. It says, the first one, does your company have, excuse me, give me a second. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. I was saying that, does your company have a contingency 
contingency plan in case of, in case a crisis occurs? Should an organization have a reaction team in case of emergencies? Okay, so let's talk about the first question. The first question says, let me repeat it. Does your company have a contingency plan in, in case a crisis occurs or a crisis happens? What can you tell me about this, people? What can you say about this? Questions. In my case, the company has a contingency plan <laughs> in case of crisis. It's specific for the information mm -hmm. because we work with the information, financial information of the companies, our clients. We have the the plan for contingency. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Guys, what about the rest? I, in my workplace, we have a plan. Mm -hmm. We have a plan and it's prepared for areas. Mm -hmm. And we have a advantage because are uh, many, Many company sisters, how do they sister companies? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's like a group. And this group have a many, many companies, more little. Little companies, yes. Okay, little companies, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And one help the other. Sorry, can you please repeat the last part? Some case, one um, one company gives support the other company mm -hmm. because all is a only group. All right, all right, okay. Okay, thank you, Susan, for that. Yes, yes. All right, people. Let's in the, me, in the case of my company, I I. Uh, they have one, but I think that is not a really good one <laughs> because uh, the last month one of our partners died, and we didn't like receive the the the the best attention, or we didn't have all the information about. Uh, what happened with him or something like that. I just remember they made, uh, how do you say, uh, collector. Sorry? Collector? How do you say collector? A gathering, a money, a money gathering. Mm -hmm. Gathering. So they, they made a gathering, but they didn't tell us anything about it. So I think it's a, they have one, but you know, but but it's not a good one. Okay. So you have to improve it. You you. Uh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So they they do have a a plan, but you said that it's not a good one. Okay. Uh, probably it's a good one, but it wasn't effective by then. So. Okay. You you know better. Bye, guys. Anybody else? I will say yes, because we have the capacity to work from home. So our tools are open. So you can uh, work uh, from your personal uh, computer, desktop or laptop, mm -hmm. or we can send the equipment uh, to your house. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Guys, anybody else? No? No. Okay, no problem. Second question. Should an organization, it says, should an organization have a reaction team in case of emergencies? Should companies, should companies have 
a specific group or team that is ready or that handles deals with with the uh, with emergencies people what do you think about this is it a good idea is it a bad idea we have a three in my case we have three departments involved uh, the operations mm -hmm. human resources and uh, the IT department <clears throat> I'm guessing. I'm guessing that in this in these departments that you mentioned, there are like like these people uh, work in the company. But I'm guessing that if they are part of the team, they do extra work, right? Yes, we have to be prepared of this type of situation. For example, human resource, they have to gather the the addresses in mm -hmm. case we need to send the equipment. IT, mm -hmm. they have to uh, uh, open the the VPNs. Mm -hmm. And uh, operation, we have to stay in contact with the client just to keep them updated. Okay. So when the pandemic happens, we'll stay like four hours uh, without uh, working or without um, doing some productions, but we, we work on that. And around 10 a.m. in the morning, the next day, we were uh, working as normal. Oh, but from home, of course, right? Yes, from home. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent, excellent. People, what do you think? Uh, teacher, good evening. Tell me, pink man. I, I guess that in El Salvador, actually, or currently, currently, um, all, currently um, all companies are prepared to have, a, for example, to plan or to reaction to play uh, about everything. For example, in the natural disaster or fighter. Uh, for example, in my company, we have a simulate uh, three types for the years about natural disaster, for example, equer land. Yeah. And then, I, I, for example, I, I work in, for, I, I work to, to for uh, Fruit of the Lung in Salvador. Mm -hmm. And every, every year we have to simulate, I, I, I guess, three or five twice for the years about fires simulate um, natural disasters or equal land. But I guess that in El Salvador, we are ready to, to front um, anything, um, cases. Okay. Yes, it's because yes. teacher in, in El Salvador is a request for the labor, Oh, depend on the number of the employees in the company, but it's necessary a comi committee, mm -hmm. committee yeah, in, committee for emergency uh, because it's a request for the low, low of the labor. Okay. Is the right. fine uh, Two years ago, three years before the pandemic, mm -hmm. the Minister of the Labor, um, they, they were uh, done doing, the, they were doing mm -hmm. the, the review in the company the, that the committee ex, exist, ex, mm -hmm. exists, exists, right. Existed or the existed. existed? Yes, existed. Um, but the companies uh, doesn't comply. Uh, defined the the the monetary fine currently, currently teacher. Currently, no monetary currently currently fine for for not complying for the committee of the disaster. Okay, all right. Anybody else? Thank you, Anna, for your opinion. And thank you, Wilfredo, as well. Anybody else? 
Thank you, Nelson, for being here. Ariana, thank you. And Rosa, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Uh, uh, uh, uh, in my in my in my place work, my place okay. home, uh, and I could need the energy in the, the flying. Sorry. Yes, uh, in the area in the in the in the home, mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't have uh, energy electric. Oh, you don't have electricity. No. In, oh, in the no. moment I connect with the with the energy in the in the cell phone. Okay. All right. All right. That's okay, Nelson. Thank you for being here. That's a great effort. Yes. All right. Anybody else with the second question? Guys, anybody else with the, with the question? Where in my case. Teacher in mm -hmm. uh, the place where always have a team, team world in the emergency, mm -hmm. uh, all activity. Um, for example, when when I have code in the in the service, uh, always uh, have the team and the or collaborator that's uh, attention uh, at the issue. Okay, okay, that's a good, that's okay, that's okay. All right, let me see. <clears throat> when I work, we, well, I think I'm guessing that they, they do have a, a plan when, whenever there's a crisis, because I work for the government. So uh, I do not really know what the plan is, but I'm guessing that they do, they do have one. You know, they, they must have one, yes. All right. Guys, thank you for that. Let me continue here with the, the, the, the second part. The second part is a conversation. It says take turns practicing the model conversation. All right, and uh, so it's, let me read it and then we practice. It says, did you hear about our competition? There's a rumor about this, their CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their, their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have, should have called for a press conference. Yes, there's even a video and pictures out, out there now. Our uh, PR department would have, would have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way to uh, win out of this pinch, pinch. All right, here we go. That's the conversation. We're going to talk about, uh, practice it, okay? And there is a part two, sorry, part three here. Uh, it says fair work, look at the conversation. It could be the sentences before uh, that are down there. It says compare your answers with the classmates. We have one, two, three exercises there that are, that I'm guessing are about the conversation. Okay, let me just create the groups. We're gonna practice for a few minutes and then we're going to hit another topic. Let's go people, let's do this fast. All right, let's do it quickly. And then we come back here and do another thing. Let's go. Let's do it quickly.
the first part. I am Nina. Who is you? Hello? Yes, but let me okay. let me look for the book. I'm looking for okay. the book because I am in. I was okay. in my phone. Just give me a second. But do you do you know where is the page we are working on? It's working page twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, yes. I'm here. Okay, thank you. It's very hot today. It is very hot today. Uh, okay, it is very hot today. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm learning. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, here it is. Okay. Can you can you see the conversation? Yes, yes, I have the book. I have the, the page. Okay, me thank too, you. but <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I start. So, uh, yeah. Sorry? Okay, I start. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO. Miss Schwering is his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but the public relationship department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department shall have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department will have an allow with the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Okay. And now you and now uh, I'm gonna be Nina and you're gonna be Jill. Okay, Ophelia, are you there? Yes. Okay, do you want oh. to be Jill? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about their CEO uh, mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. Is must I be employees? I think to sue I the company. I the core has prevent I this issues. I bus I did public relation. The part is not I that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department uh, should have called for a press conference. Yes, I did it. It's bad. I be the inventory of the no. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out uh, of this pinch. And now? And now we have to solve the part three. <laughs> You can barely see okay. it, huh? You can barely see it. Yes. All right. Uh, guys, continue. Okay. Let me go. Let me go to another group. Okay, Let's teacher. Continue with that. Uh, this person is alone, so. Everywhere on the internet. It must be an. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented the issue, but the public relations department is not had so is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department sure have calling for a press conference. Yes, there is there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have 
allowed the situation to come in here far. I hope they find a way out of this print. Okay. Okay, I'm starting. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about the CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to, to, to issue this company. They call hard preventing the issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and picture out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Okay, I need Okay. Did you did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about the CEO mistreating this employee. Mm -hmm. Miss, sorry. Mistreating, mistreating. Mistreating. Mistreating. Mistreating his employee. And Hello. it's out everywhere in the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come in this far. I hope they find a way out of the cheat pinch. All right. <laughs> Edwin, Alexa, okay. you can okay. participate. I, excellent. Uh, do you hear about our competition? There is a room, rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees. It's, what is the right pronunciation? I'm sorry. Mistreating. Mistreating. Mistreating, mistreating his employees. And it is all everywhere on the internet. Internet. It would be an employee trying to shoot the company. Sue. They, Sue. they could shoot. Oh, Sue. Sue. Sue. Sue. Okay. Trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I, I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department shouldn't have called it for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and picture of the now, of the now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they found a way out on, of this pitch, pitch, pinch. What is pinch. <laughs> Change. Change. All right. Okay. Change. Okay. Rose, Edwin. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait, wait. Uh, this one, the first word that I underlined, which is internet. Uh, mm -hmm. if, you want to, if you want to sound better, you can say either, internet. Internet. Internet. Like a T. Internet. T becomes uh, an R. Like internet. Either, either, internet. Either, either, internet. Either, either, either, either, internet. Either, yes. Or you can either. say internet. No problem. Internet. No problem. Okay. But you can say, you okay. can say, Irin or two. Su, su es el que está acabado. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. Su. <laughs> me, me, I, I just say no, thank you. Like, like, like, you say sorry, but actually, no, sorry for why. Thanks for the for tell us the right pronunciation. Okay, <laughs> uh, you, you lost me, I don't understand. Rose, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I start. Go ahead. Did you hear about our competition? 
there is a rumor about their, their seal mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department, department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is, e there is even a video and pictures out of there now. Or PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this, this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Find a way out. Find a way out of. Find you, a way out. Of, find, a way to, find a way out. A way to, find out, a way out. A way out. out. Of this a way out. Mm -hmm. Okay, way out of this mm -hmm. pitch. A way out of this pitch. Mm -hmm. Way out. Way out. Of. We can pronounce way out of pitch. Way, way out of. Way, way, way out of. Out of. Mm -hmm. I hope they find a way out of this pitch. No, the one that you can combine is out of. Out of. Ah, okay. Out of. Way, ah. It will way out. It's find... unphrasable, verdad? Yes. Okay. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, continue with part three if you can. Okay. We go to a different group. Bien interesante, realmente, no solo de aprender eh, el inglés. Hi. Yes. Hi, Hi teacher. The handsome teacher is here. Go ahead, practice. Okay. okay. No. En, en Carlita, en Carlita y Flor, Nina, Carlita, okay. Flor, you. <laughs> Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about the CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be um, an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this usage. But the public relation. Continue, sorry. sorry. Public, public relation department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for press conference. Yes, there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Okay, just some uh, pronunciation uh, uh, advice here. It's the first one is Sue. This one is Sue. Sue. Sue. Okay. Sue. The, the, the pronunciation is the is the similar the. The where, no, the, the where, teacher, no. Suit. Suit, you mean suit. Suit is the other. It's with T, suit. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Yes. Uh, and this one is, you can say prevented, okay, prevented, prevented. or you can prevented. say, or you can say prevented, okay. Could have prevented this issue. Prevented. This is not public, it's with, with A, public, public, okay? Public. Public okay. relations department. Should, not should, should. Remember that we do not, we do not say the L, the L is silent, it is mute. We just say should. It's I have a problem with, with, with all words that have a letter without some. <laughs> I understand. Actually, Come on, talk. <laughs> uh -huh, talk. Talk. Walk. Uh -huh. yes. Walk, yes. I Sorry, teacher. Talk. I need better this part with me. Teacher, yes. the, the word you say, or what is the, the meaning? Where is it? You said. You. Ah, issue. This one, no? You, you, uh, yes. Oh, it's yes. Issue, issue. 
issue. Mm -hmm. That's problem. Okay. A problem. Teacher, what is the the translate? Uh, the I hope they translation. Sorry, translation to I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Okay. But in that this be, case, what it is? What it means? The pinch. Pinch lío. Espero que encuentren uh, encuentren una salida. De este lío. De este lío. A este lío. Es que uh, es pellizco too. Yes. Pinch. Oh. And in the when put, when ingredient. Put, when you put when salt you put in the food, you like pinch. Pinch. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. Uh, and I was like, ah, oh, shoot, right? This is even. Sure. Even. I said, come on, good evening, evening, even. even. Okay. Even. And uh, allowed. The last one, allowed. Even. Allowed. Allowed. Allowed. Allowed. Allowed. Oh, it's called ah, allowed. Allowed. Allowed. Allowed. Yes. All right. Allowed. Allowed. Allowed. Excellent. Continue with the practice. Go down there to part three and finish it. Okay. Let me go to another. Okay, group. teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Allowed. This pinch. This pinch. The. How is everything here? Guys? Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi teacher. Hello. So, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> they could have prevented the system for that. All right, the part three is it's okay, uh, but I would love to hear you guys practice the conversation. Can you do it? Okay, teacher. Sorry, I can be Nina if, if you want. Okay. Okay. Uh, did you hear about early competitions? There is a rumor about their CEO mistering his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It, it must be an employee's training to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even a video and picture of the, their no. Our, our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. All right, all right, excellent people. Thank you very much. Let me go to the last groups. And then we're gonna go back to the main session and work on something else. Okay. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Uh, teacher, uh, uh, could you help me? Uh, what is the correct pronoun? The mistreating or mistreating? Mistreating. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And then, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, uh, you lose the second word. So, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, so, and let's start practice. Time. Sorry. Let's start practice. Did you hear about our competition? 
there is a rumor about their CEO mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employees trying to sue the company. They could have prevented this issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. conference. Yes, there is even a video and picture out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed this situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Uh, What's the name of this teacher? Pinch, Leo. Pinch, ah, uh, Leo. Okay, teacher. Problem, yes, pretty much. Problem. Uh -huh. It's the same. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, they are related. It means the same. And part number three, and uh, uh, sentence number one. They could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. Okay. Number two. Number two, when the rumor was online, the PR department should have called for Call, mm -hmm. call for a press conference. And okay, number Hi. three, our PR department uh, yeah. wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. Okay. Only that teacher. Yes, that's okay. That is okay. Right. Right. Let me go to the last group and then we're gonna go work on something else, okay? Let me okay, go to the last one. Thanks. Hi, ladies. Okay. okay. Hi. Um, Luis, me? Luis, start. Okay. Mm. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about the CEO mistreating his employees, and it is out everywhere on the internet. This must be the employees and trying uh, to shoot the company. They could have prevent the use of the public relation department. It is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes, there is even video of picture of oh, there is now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I hope to find a way out of this pinch. Continue, ladies. You yes, are loaded. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a rumor about the CEO mistreating his employee, and it and it is out everywhere on the internet. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could help prevent this issue, but the public relations department is not that solid. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. Yes. Uh, there is even a video and picture out there now. Our PR department wouldn't have allowed the situation to come this far. I, co I hope they find a way out of this pinch. Finish, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, could you tell me how you did part three? Yes, okay. finish. Yes, I know, but can you share? <laughs> <laughs> uh, number one, mm -hmm. they 
could have prevented this issue, but their public relations department is not that solid. Okay. Guys, number two. Uh, with the rumor, when we lie, the peer department and uh, should have current for a place conference. Number three. Number three. Gloria. Number three. Wouldn't have uh, allowed uh, the situation to come this far. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. People, we're gonna go back to the main session. We will see you guys, uh, I will see you guys over there. Let's go back. Thank uh, you. Let's go back, let's go back. We got a lot to do over there. Thank you. Yes, no problem. we're back here hi guys we're back thank you guys for your participation for your performance you did it very well now we're going to continue with the next part which is part number four if you go to the book you're going to see part number four that's the grammar section but for that we're going to go to the presentation and i'm going to show you a little bit about about these models okay yes I'm gonna show you a little bit about these models. And uh, they are called, guys, they are called, look at this. If you go to part number four in your books, you will find this information. Uh, it's called past models or sometimes, or also known as models of lost, uh, Lost word. Okay, they have two names. You can just call them past models or you can call them models of lost opportunity. Okay, that's how they are called. Uh, just for the moment, we only have three. There are more, of course. We just have would have, could have, should have. Uh, the pronunciation people of these words is simple. We do not pronounce the O, we do not pronounce the L. We just pronounce the W, the U, and the D, okay? So that will be wood, okay, like this, wood, all right? That will be the pronunciation. The same thing happens to the rest or to the other ones. We just say could here, and over here we just say should, all right? That's the pronunciation. And we need to use have. We need to use have. As you can see, have is there. So it is would have, could have, and should have. Plus, plus past participle. Okay, plus past participle. Past participle is the verb. Okay, this is the verb. Okay, past participle is the verb. So we use would have, could have, should have, plus past participle. Okay. Now to understand to understand what they mean, we're gonna go through uh, some examples. Would have gone, could have gone, and should have gone. Okay. Look at this. We have uh, the same verb. We have the same verb. But what I'm trying to say is different. Each of the models express uh, a single thing, you know, a single situation. They don't express the same. So do not get confused with that because they do not 
express the same. How would you guys, hi, tell me, how would you say would have gone in Spanish? Would have gone. Hubiera sido. Okay. Habría sido. Okay. I would have gone. Hubiera, hubiera ido. Okay. Hubiera ido. And the second one could have people. Podría haber ido. No. Podría. Podría haber ido. Podría haber ido. And the last one. Debería haber ido. Debería haber ido. Debería haber ido. Debería haber ido. Debería ir. No. No, no, no, no. That would be I should go. That's that's that's that's not not fast. Ah, okay. I should, should have gone. Wouldn't wouldn't be debí haber ido? Debí haber ido. Right? No, no. Debería debería haber ido. Ah, haber ido. Debí haber ido. Should. I don't know. <laughs> Spanish. Spanish is weird. Should have okay. gone. I know in English. I don't know in Spanish. <laughs> okay, people. What what makes what Could makes this? Sorry. Could sorry, have sorry. teacher? How? It significa how? No, could have gone? Could have. Podría haber ido. Ah, okay. Thank you. Podría. Yes. Podría haber ido. Yes. Thank you, teacher. All right. Guys, the difficult thing here. We're dealing, we're dealing with the with the past participle again. And that's what makes this, this whole thing, you know, a little bit more difficult because we need to know, we need to know the form of the verb in the past participle form. Okay. If we do not, if we do not put the verb in the past participle form, that is not correct. And that's that's something that happened with you guys with the platform in the third conditional. Okay, that's something that happened to, to some of you. That you were not you were not putting the verb in the past participle form. But let me tell you the platform the platform is not is not uh, accepting the, the the the answers. Okay, even though they are correct, they are being rejected. That has to be reported. That will report it today. All right, let's continue. Now we're gonna see how we use each of them. First, look at this, past models. Look at it, people. Uh, Rose, read, please, the definition. Teacher, okay. Past models. Past models tell what could have, would have, and should have happened. To form these past models, use could, would, or should, followed by how, followed by a past participle verb, use how for a pronounce, never use has or how to form a past model. All right, all right. Let me read again. It says, past models tell what could have, would have, and should have happened. To form these past models, use could, would, or should, followed by have, followed by a past participle verb. Use have for all pronouns, never use has or had to form a past model, okay? Yes, all right. Now, we got some examples here. We say, the examples are, she could have worked in any company overseas. Second example, we would have gone to the meeting, but our car broke down. And the last one says, I should have uh, bought uh, the lottery ticket, okay? Now, guys, questions here. Guys, questions? No, okay. The first example in Spanish, it says, guys, tell me, in Spanish. Uh, the translation, the translation, yes. Ella 
podría haber trabajado en alguna compañía cualquiera. A ver si. Marítimo. Ella podría haber trabajado en cualquier compañía en el extranjero. Overseas es place in different place, ¿ok? Overseas. Now, the second example is, uh, habríamos ido, habríamos ido a la reunión, pero nuestro carro... Se arruinó. Okay. Se arruinó. Yes, yes. Now, The third example, I should have bought the lottery ticket, the B. I have comprado el el ticket de lotería. Lotería. Yes. All right. Now, let's continue here. Look at this. Past models should have. I think I didn't I didn't change should have. I just I left it there. Okay, look, we use should have to express regrets and mistakes. We use should have to express regrets and mistakes. What is regrets? Arrepentir. Regrets. Regrets. For example, me getting married. Okay, that's one. one. No, no, okay. It's a joke. All right, we have some examples here, but before we go to the examples, look at the structure. We start, we start the sentence with the subject as always. Okay, we start with the subject, then we need to use should have, okay, should have. Then after should have, we need to place what I call the most difficult part of the sentence, the past participle form of the verb, okay? And then the complement. Examples, the agent should have picked up the phone. Mauricio should have monitored the project. The police should have checked in the most remote places. And the last one says, Suma should have applied for the manager position. All of these are what I call regrets. Okay, regrets. Arrepentimiento, okay? Yes. All right, guys, do you understand how we use should have? Yes, okay. Teacher, what is the meaning of regrets? Sorry. Yes, arrepentimientos. Uh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. We all have that. All of us have, have, have regrets. Yes. Okay. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. More questions, people. No? Okay, let's see what happens here. Mm. Luis, could you help us with an example, please? Sure. Whatever you want. I I shouldn't have stopped my diet. And you did. <laughs> oh, no. no, it's just an example. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I thought you were on a diet or something. Like, no, no. I should go on I'm, a diet. I'm, I'm not a, on, a, on a diet right now. Okay. In my case, I should go on diet. I'm getting fat. <laughs> That's not good. I'm eating too much, people. I eat too much. Very Me fat, teacher. No, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, believe me. After after this class, I go to my hammock. I use my phone. I put some music. I start eat. I start to eat. Teacher, no, to A lot of things. I drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Luis, for your example. Let me see another person with an example. Uh, we're going to try with Edwin. Edwin, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Could you give us an example, Edwin? Okay. Um... Uh, let me see. Um, Carlos uh, shouldn't have visited. Visited. Uh, visited. Carlos shouldn't have visited his visited. grandmother. Visited. Visited his grandmother. 
after she will ill. Repeat, please. I, I, I, it's, it's kind of difficult uh, um, for me. It's, it's a lot of difficult to understand rules of of of is, but I'm trying to. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay, uh, Carlos shouldn't have visited his grandmother after he's ill. Like he had been sick, you know. Okay. I, I'm just trying to say that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get it now. I get it now. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. okay. Perfect. Yes. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Uh, one more person, and then we continue with the, with the other part. And that person is you, Lourdes. Lourdes. Hello. Hello. Ah. Hello. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um. Example, for example, Elena should have a to have a thing thing in the concert. Sing no. No song. Oh, well, say oh. song. A song. Yes. Okay. For people, for the ones that are married, you shouldn't have gotten married. <laughs> sure, come on. Example, you should have gotten married. Yes. Okay, M me too. I, uh... <laughs> okay, people, next. The next one is could have. Ignore this part up here. Ignore it. We use could have to express past possibility. We use could have to express past possibility. All right. We have the same structure. The only thing that we change is good. Okay. That's the only thing that we change. Look at this. Look at the examples. Luis could have gotten fired due to the misunderstandings. Okay. Walter could have sent the memo yesterday, but he didn't. The enterprise could have announced uh, its bankruptcy. Okay. These are the examples with could. So with could, we are expressing past possibilities. And I forgot some, to tell you something that I will, I will do it right now. And it's this, should have, let's go to this part over here, down here. It says should have, and then we have the contraction with should have, which is should have, okay, should have over here. The same happens with could, could have, all right, yes. The same happens with would, would have, all right? But here, so again, people, with could, we are expressing past possibilities, not regrets. Regrets is, is we use should for regrets. We use could for possibilities, okay? Look at example, Luis could, ha could have gotten fired due to the misunderstandings, okay? Luis pudo o pod uh, podría haber sido despedido debido a los malos entendidos. Okay, but it didn't get fired. So. Okay, guys, questions about could or could have? Questions about could have? No, we're good. Okay. It's okay, teacher. Sorry? It's okay. Okay. The use is only pos possibility. Sorry? Yes, yes, possibilities. Possibilities. Yes. But in the time pass. Sorry? In the time pass. What do you mean? In tiempo pasado. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is past. Past possibilities. Okay. That's why they are called past models. Okay. This is about past. We're talking about things that, that were in the past. Okay. That didn't take place or took place. All right. Since Rosa said that everything was okay, she's gonna give us an example. Rosa, go. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> what do you say, teacher? Sorry, sorry. Give us an example. Oh, this, I have to read this? Yes, no, no. Give us an example. Oh, I have to read it one. 
Let me put this. Um. Mm -hmm. Rosa to have Rosa to have lost her keys yesterday. Could have lost her keys yesterday. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Gabriela, go, Gabriela. Thank you. Okay. Um my brother mm -hmm. could have gone to bed early yesterday. Okay, okay. There you go. Excellent. Let's continue with the next one. Okay, with wood with wood, there's a difference with wood. A little difference there. The structure is the same. Okay. Look at examples. And look at the last part with, with the comma and uh, I'm using a conjunction here, but that part, because if, if we don't have that part, the sentence sounds uh, like, like if there's something missing, okay? Look at this. Richard would have signed, signed the resignation letter. Again, uh, like the idea is not, it's not complete but he left earlier, okay? But he left earlier. Okay, the next one is Navy would have presented her task on time, but she had too much work. And the last one, Rixie wouldn't have made so many mistakes, but she was too sleepy, okay? Yes, all right. What is about would, would, would have, would have, would have. No. Okay. Is that it? That is that that that's it. So now we're gonna go back to the book, and we're gonna have to do something here. Yes. This one, part number five. Okay, just that, just part number five. And then uh, we're gonna do another activity that I have here. So guys, let's do this one. Let's do part number number five. We have some examples here, just five examples. So let's work on this individually and let me know if you have any questions or if you get confused. Oh, where it says past willingness, that means wood, okay? That one is wood, it refers to wood. I finished, teacher. All right, all right, perfect. Thank you.
Guys, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. The first one, the first one says, the crisis management team could have could have created a plan to reduce the impact of crisis on the company finances, but they were too busy with the PR scandal. Ooh, no good. Okay, I volunteer to read the second one. Me. Go ahead, please. The manager hey, should have been honest with the employees about the product recalls. Okay, the manager should okay. have been mm -hmm. honest with the employees about the product recalls. Okay, thank you, William, for reading. Number three, people. The president, the president would have requested for a press conference, but there was no time uh, for the paperwork. All right, all right. The president would have requested for a press conference, but there was no time for the paperwork. Thank you for reading. Number four, another person. The employees should have taken the deal, okay. but they prefer to go on strike. The employees should have taken the deal, but they preferred to go on strike. Thank you. Number five. When the Arpiet hit the Arpiet hit the suppliers, suppliers, the suppliers, could, the supply and could have and use a different and rather of transportation for delivery. Okay. When the, earth, the suppliers could have used different roads uh, of transportation for the deliveries. And the last one, people, go ahead. The last one. Anybody? The crisis mm -hmm. should should have been avoided with good cool mm -hmm. with good the crisis, the crisis could have create uh, been avoided with good planning with good planning okay the crisis could have been avoided with good planning okay that's how it goes thank you very much for that excellent excellent now guys do you have any questions in, in this case in this case school is is uh, pasado yes it is past and school is a uh, Yes. A time? Uh, no, all of them, all of them are past. All of them are past. Uh -huh. Yes, all of them. When are you use sorry? When you should in, in in cool. We use should when there is a regret, when we regret not doing something. And we use could for possibilities, past possibilities. Yes. Okay, now we're going to continue and this time we're gonna practice more with this. So I need you guys to, to give me some examples, but you're gonna write them down before you, you share them. I need you to give me two examples of each. Okay, two examples with could, two with should, and two with would. But, but this is gonna be related to your work or your job only, okay? Not about anything else. It's gonna be related about your workplace, your job, about work, okay? So we're gonna give, you're gonna give me six examples, two examples of should have, two examples with could have, and two examples with would have, 
related to your job. Okay, go ahead, people. Work. Teacher, one question. Yes. He should one one one is the moment there. Sorry. The use and and should should have mm -hmm. what the characters. Oh no! It should is it it it it it the past past possible. No, could is Ooh. for past possibilities. Could is for past possibilities, and should is for regrets. Regrets. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. I'm here. Let me know when you finish, please. I could have done the report, but I have been doing many things. I have been doing many things. We could have given more, but the budget, okay. All right, all right. Guys, continue. Teacher, yes. uh, do we have to do we have to answer? Sorry, do do we have to type our uh, our examples? You mean? Exa yeah, our examples in the in the chat. That's not necessary. Okay.
İkinci de aşıktan bakmasın. Teacher, uh, what is the verb that you use to say calentar in microondas? Heat up. Heat. Heat. Mm -hmm. Any past? Heat it. Thank you. I finished. Okay. Of schedule a meeting to solve some problems. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think we are ready now. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to choose a person to, to share the examples, some of them, not all of them, because that will take a lot of time. All right, let's just start with you, Gloria. Gloria is sleeping. Hello. No, <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> okay. Yes. One example. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I could have a better um, job result uh, um, if I get uh, more training in my area. No. No? Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I lost. <laughs> you, have to, you have to remember the structure, okay? Can you uh, repeat, okay. It? repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Repeat, example. We have a better job. Uh -huh. And what, what's the verb? What is the verb? Um, the verb podría, no. No, the verb is after have. Okay, remember, we use subject, then could have, then past participle, past participle is the verb. Okay, I, I, I could have an aprender. I could have. I, I could have got. Uh -huh. I could have learned uh, no, English. No. I could have learned. Learn English. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I job result. If get more uh, uh, training in my area. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Let's continue. Walter, can you please give us an example? Our client would have increased our budget for activities, but we didn't include the topic in our last meeting. Okay. Walter, go ahead, Walter. No, Walter is not there. Wilfredo, are you there? Could you please share one of your examples? Okay, Wilfredo is not there either. Sulma, are you there? Yes. Okay, Sulma, go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, Maria will have taken the day off for her birthday. For her birthday, you said. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
All right, all right. Thank you for that example. Thank you very much. Flor. Hello, Flor. Flor, are you there? Hello, hello. Okay. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, Flor. Give us an example. Um, okay. My partner should have sent his full report. Um, other, the seller should have reached his goal this month. Okay, okay. That's perfect. Thank you uh, for, for sharing. Thank you very much. Let's continue with, uh, let me see. Hmm. Pamela, are you there? Yeah. Uh, one of my co-workers could have communicated with the team about plans to everyone be available. I didn't hear anything, Pamela. I'm sorry. Uh, so no, we didn't hear anything. One of my who have communicated? Nope, nothing. I know you're talking because we, we hear just like like uh, some fragments of what you're saying, but we don't understand. If you want, you can you can go to a chat and you can you can type the, the your example over there. No problem. Okay, let's continue with somebody else, Julia. Yeah, uh, uh, my co-worker would have been a better manager. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Reynosa, go ahead, please. Anastasia Reynosa. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I could have learned to play guitar 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of my coworkers could have communicated with the team but about the problem to everyone, for everyone to give it a solution. Okay, okay, that, the first part is, is okay. Let me see another person here. Sandra, are you there? Yes, I hear. Um, I could have been in this sea last week. Last Repeat. weekend. Repeat, please. I could have been. I could have been uh -huh. in the sea last weekend. I don't understand. I think. In the in the beach or in okay. on, on or sea. Okay, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. <clears throat> let's see one more person and then we continue with the next activity. And this person is Ada. Go ahead, Ada. Okay, teacher. Este, my co worker should have bought the necessary instrument for his work. All right, all right. There you go. Thank you very much for that. Now we're going to continue with. Another activity that I have for you guys. Nope, it's not this one. It's this one. It's a paragraph in which we're, which contains some spaces. You are going to put these uh, these words or these sentences that you have in the down there. You're gonna place this this uh, these sentences in the spaces. All right. For example. Uh, could have left. We can place could have left here at the beginning, you know. So people, go ahead. Let's work on this individually. Can you guys see what, what I'm sharing? Okay, go ahead. Just read the information, read the whole thing, understand it, and then just go down there and um, place the, the answers.
I should have. Guys, let me know when you finish.
Finish the chair. Thank you, Julia. Finish, teacher. Thank you. Apparently, we, we all finished. Uh, I, okay, we are going to check what we have. We are going to choose a person to read this. Okay, Susan. Hi. No, she's not there. Okay. Carla, are you there? Carla, hello. She's not there either. Let me see. Gabriela, are you there? Can you please help us with this? I think, sir, excuse me, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, uh, Gabriela, uh, Gabi, you're going to read the first part. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stop here. Okay, and then Julia, sorry. Susan, uh, go ahead, Gabriela, read, okay. please. On my thesis last year, I had to do a deep research on my topic. I researched for several months. Unfortunately, I end up failing on it. Ended now up. I have to perform again. My classmates and I were talking about our thesis and we have reached a few conclusions. Maybe we should have asked more information. Maybe we maybe will have performed more people involved in your paper, or maybe I should have performed better. Okay, there, there you go. What was the second one? Can you um, please repeat the second one? Maybe, um, yeah, sorry. Maybe should have gotten more people involved in your paper. Okay, let's see what happens. Continue reading, Susan. Thank you, Garela, for reading. I am guessing I performed poorly. There were many negative aspects that lowered our chance of passing. For example, there was traffic. We have done on time, but there was too much traffic due to some street reparation. I know I could have checked on I know I could have checked my house earlier. Okay, wait. I uh, let's let's rewind. Just for example, there was traffic. We what do you say here, Gedi Woka? What do you say here? I say we have done. I will have done on time, but there was too much traffic due to so much street reparation. I think is we could have we could have arrived. We, have arrived. we, we could, could have, have arrived. arrived. Yeah. Okay. On time. We could have okay. We could have arrived on time, 
yes. but there was too much traffic do some street reparation. I am confused. Don't worry. Continue with this one. <coughs> I could have checked. Um, I could have checked my house earlier, but I took it away too easy. Sorry. I could have done social. I, I can I change. I will have. I will have it on social media because sometimes there are posts in which you'll get useful information about these roles begin being under maintenance. Stop there, stop there. In here, in this one, I know I could have left, okay? I know I could have left uh, my house earlier, but I took it way too easy, it says here. All right. Then we have uh, the next thing here. Okay, then it says, I took it way, way too easy. I, what about this one, guys? To I have will have checked, checked. To have checked social media. Okay, I will have, I will have checked social media because sometimes there are posts in which you get useful information about these roads being under maintenance. Now, let's continue. Uh, lower this. Continue, please, from here. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I, I will have done. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that I? I will have done. Guys, what do you Love. think? Flawlessly, would have performed. Hmm? Would have performed. Will have performed. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I will. I, I will have. I think it's a. I would have done. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure okay. that I would have done. Hold on. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I will have done flawlessly, but the judge looked serious and demanding. So that made oh, us hold on, hold on. nervous. I thought it was this one. I thought it was this one. That's why. But no, no, it's this one, right? Yes. I'm sure that I, uh, mm. Okay, then she, she was right. I should have performed, or I could have. I could have performed, I would have, sorry. I would have performed flawlessly, but the judges looked serious and demanding. So that made us feel nervous. We, then this one is, is posted. We'll, we have done. We will have done a great job. But it didn't go as planned this time. We are more than ready. Okay. Thank you guys for that. Now I'm going to show you how, how it is. It is here. Look at it. Look at it. That's the paragraph. Uh, we're going to have a person to read it and that's it. Jose, please read the paragraph like that, the way it is. Jose is sleeping. Okay, a person, a volunteer, to read it. Me. Go ahead. All the paragraph. Yes. Okay. On my, on my thesis last year, I had to do a deep research on my topic. I researched for several months. Unfortunately, I ended up failing on it. Now I have performed again. My classmates and I were talking about our thesis and we've uh, reached a few conclusions. Maybe we should have added more information. Maybe we should have gotten more people involved in our paper. Or maybe I should have performed better. I'm guessing I performed poor, poorly. 
there were many negative aspects that lowered our ch chances of passing. For example, there was traffic. We could have arrived on time, but there was too much traffic due to some street preparations. I know I could have, I, I could left my house earlier, but I took it way too easy. I could have checked on social media because sometimes there are posts in which you get useful information about these, these roads being under maintenance. Maintenance. I'm, so, sorry? Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure that I would have performed flawlessly, but the judges look serious, serious and demanding. So that made us feel nervous. We would have done a great job, but it didn't go as planned. This time we are more than ready. All right. Thank you very much for reading, Julia. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Now we still have a couple of minutes and uh, I would like to show you how, how uh, the platform keeps rejecting what, what we do because it, it doesn't matter how many times we try or how many ways we try, the platform keeps rejecting the, the, the answers, even though they are correct. Over here. It's the second one, right? I'm going to look at this. Do you see the, the exercises? Yes. yes. Who got who got who got it correct? I mean, who got them correct? All of them. You did? Okay. It, it keeps it keeps giving me like the same mistake. Look, we're gonna I'm gonna do it here. If she right, if she had checked stop market reports, she would have sorry, she wouldn't, she would not, she would not have lost so much money, okay? And that is correct, right? It is correct. Earlier, when I clicked on it, it showed me that my answer was incorrect. And in fact, it is incorrect according to the platform. Oh, my bad, mistake here. Let me try again. Okay, still incorrect, look at it. If she had checked stock market, as you can see, reports, comma, she would not have lost so much money. Everything is correct. There are no mistakes, okay? There are no mistakes, the sentence is correct, but the platform rejects the, the, the sentence or the answer. Now, because I said the contraction of the negative form teacher. Exactly. Let's try, let's try the negative form. The contraction of the negative form wouldn't. There you go. Now we're gonna submit this. And we still have the same problem. The sentence is not correct. For some exactly. reason, for some reason, the, the, the platform keeps rejecting the, the, the answers, even though they are correct. So let's try another way. Let's uh, remove the contraction with with uh, with would, and let's try the contraction with she and would. In this case is should not have lost. Let's try this one. Still not working. See, it is not working. Okay, 
And what I did was this. Look, I have I can in my case, I don't know if you have this this option, but I do. I can see the answers. Look at this. Show answers. You see the answers there. Okay, look, answer. If she had checked the stock market options, she wouldn't have lost. We tried this before, huh? We tried it before and it didn't work. If she checked the stock market re uh, reports, she wouldn't have lost so much money. Now, what I did was this. I just copy the information from here. I erase this. It's the same thing. And I click on submit. And then it was correct. So <laughs> I don't really understand what is happening. Okay. And that's the only way. That's the only way I, I that's the only way I got him correct. That was my, the only it's my case, teacher. My my answer is okay, but the powerful project. But it's for the type of the apostrophe teacher because I it is specific. Many time, I many time the apostrophe. But the, the, the, one that I, the one that I place is that, that's the one. That's the one because we do have another one, which is this one. See, probably is the apostrophe, but I don't, I don't know what the other one is. Is it this one? Okay, then it's the apostrophe. The Yo a veces lo que hago es copiarlo del mismo, del mismo libro, el apostrofe que están utilizando para... Oh, yeah, you're right. I, I, I didn't pay attention to that. Copiar y pegar. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's probably a problem. Okay, look, we got two apostrophes. We got this one. Okay, and we also have this one. But this one is not an apostrophe. It's a tilde, brother. Pero ese es el que acepta. And that's the one that in the apostrophe is this one. Okay. Uh -huh. People try with the I don't I don't yes. know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me take it. O a veces los espacios, teacher, cuando yeah. uno escribe, deja un espacio adicional. Yes, that's true, that's true. Entonces es bastante sensible la plataforma. Exactly, it is. <laughs> Let me take attendance real quick. All right, Ana Patricia. Present. Adriana Stephanie. She was there, but she was busy. Ana Selmi. Present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra. Present. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Jose Ernesto. Present. Present. Carla Veronica. Present. Lourdes Beatriz. Luis? Present, present, present, teacher. Luis Orlando? Here. Nelson, Nelson Edgardo? Ofelia Orellana? Here, teacher. Hello. Pamela Here, teacher. Yes, yes, hello. Good evening. Rosa Elena? Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys? Susan, hello, Carolina. Present. Walter Mauricio. Present. Wilfredo Guardado. Present teacher. You stay, Wilfredo. You stay yes. at my class. Wilfredo, you're going to stay after the class, okay? Tell me, I'm sorry. You are going to stay after class. I'm okay. Marosaura? Present. Flor de Maria? Edwin Alexander? Present. And Present, teacher. Yes, yes, hello. Yeah. Okay, people, thank you for, <clears throat> thank you for being here today. It was a pleasure. It's been a long week. Guys, I wish you the best for this coming weekend. Okay. Have fun, enjoy this, this weekend with your family, with your friends or anybody, you know. And I will see you guys on Monday, okay? Take care, and if you drink, drink soda or water, okay? Yes. Thank you, sir. Or this. Or no this. more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> if you want, you can drink this, okay? No problem. It's Saturday. It's Sunday. So enjoy, people, okay?
but be careful, okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Happy New weekend. Morning. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. See you Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Profe, ay, disculpe que me quedé un ratito, pero ahí me ayuda, fíjese que yo la plataforma la he llenado. De la, usted me mandó el video con la respuesta correcta, ma. Uh -huh. Y yo le he puesto las dos y la una. Uh -huh. Ya la había hecho, yo siento que están bien desde la primera vez que hice, uh -huh. Pero no entiendo por qué me da, como dice la señora, ma. Tal vez la coma que yo uso sí. en mi ah, teléfono sí. es la, no es la correcta. Cámbiale, cámbiale el apóstrofe, sí, eso, ese es el problema, cámbialo. No, pero ya lo hice, ya lo hice de las dos maneras, como usted me, me dio, la, usted me mandó un video donde tengo las dos respuestas, yeah, yeah. y le puse, le puse las dos y ninguna me la acepta, solo me acepta una, solo la, la que donde habla de Franklin o Fran, parece que dice, esa sí me sale buena, okay. pero las demás no me salen buenas. Nunca había tenido este problema, fíjese, porque anteriormente cuando he tenido problemas de apóstrofe y todo, me han ayudado con la misma respuesta, así como la de usted, y lo logró. Lo he logrado, ha sido poco, pero hoy sí no, no sé qué pasa. Pero si me ayuda, yo estoy pendiente ahí, cualquier hora me puede llamar, mensajear y me dice, mire, haga esto, para, porque es parte de la clase y del examen, y si no lo completo, sí me puedo, la nota no me va a dar, sí lo necesito. Sí. Okay, okay. No bueno, entonces, ahí me ayuda. Si me toca contactarme con un técnico de ellos, ahí estoy. Y... Ok, perfecto. Ok, gracias. Ok, buen día, buen día. Hello, my friend. Hey. Tienes que ser He's fácil. Happy. Nah, He's happy hey. for your, your equipment fast. Yes, I, I'm, I'm so happy because the hey, pass is going they, to go. Hey, they give the, the bill. Did you see the match? What are you talking about? <laughs> Hey, hello, hello, bye bye, my friend. <laughs> bye, Walter. Los dejo, lo dejo, te, te, te estoy robando de tu tiempo. Bye bye. No worry. Ok, bye, amigo. Ok, bye. Tell me, teacher. Hello, Wilfredo. How is everything? Everything okay, teacher. Perfect. Ok, we have this, this uh, minutes to clear your questions or your confusion about the topics that we've seen or anything related to English pretty much. Everything okay, teacher, because um, let me say you that... Um, tell you, let me tell you. Let me tell you that... Wait, wait, wait. Después no, dígame. I... Le voy a explicar, Walter, acá porque veo que cometes error bien seguido. Walter, le dije. Wilfredo, veo que cometes tell error bien seguido con el, con el say. Porque tenemos el say, we, we, Spanish. Why, why am I speaking Spanish? <laughs> why am I speaking uh -huh. Spanish? We have say and tell, okay? See? Yes. What is the difference, teacher? If the I go and say you, uh, let me tell you or let me say you? Let me tell you, okay? The difference is simple, simple, simple. We use tell, usamos, okay? Lear en español. Usamos el, el, el tell con un objeto. Plus object, okay? Ese objeto es una persona, ya sea you, me, them, us, her, and him. Tell him, tell her, tell me, tell you, tell them, tell us, etc. Okay? Y el say es lo mismo, solo que este le ponemos el tú. Y luego el objeto. Okay? You have to say tú. Ajá, uh -huh. say, okay. Lo que usted dijo fue, I'm going to say you, right? I'm going to say you. No, I'm going to say to you. Okay. I want to say to you. Uh -huh. Okay, or tell you. That's the difference. Okay. Hmm. So the two is the, the, the, the difference there. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Give, give me one second because I, I, I need to write it, but I, I, I, I don't have a, a pen to, to write it. Oh, okay. Let me, let, let, let me, give me one. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I'll, I'll just... Because, teacher, uh, the, um, let me, let me say you, or let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. 
let me tell you i'm okay um let me tell you that the last year um, the last year i i went to united states with my children yes yes then um i could i could make a checking full english mm -hmm. yeah. but three years ago four years ago i went to united states but i didn't stand i didn't stand him when um customer customer's office officer yes yes when customer so officer tell me it, what kind of food um i yo llevaba i i brought i have run I, you were bringing i was bringing what kind of food i was bringing what i was taking yes but i didn't understand him when he asked me uh, what kind of food did you bring but i i don't know a, a little a little word teacher Mm -hmm. Rye, rye beans or green beans. Then, mm -hmm. um, last year in December, I went to again to the United States, but it is grateful for me that we, I, I could then I could make my check my checking full English, but I. I I don't understand there if um, when I I have to say let me say or let me let me tell you mm -hmm. for example yes but okay la cuestión es que con el say acá está el ejemplo mira puede ver you see examples okay. yes yes Okay, look, acá está say, as you see, and we have tell here, okay? Después de tell, usamos la persona, tell you. Luego, después de you, usamos my name, okay? okay. And in here, is different. Look, say my name. Después de my name, usamos el tú. Después de tú, usamos you. Okay, it's grammatical, ah. orden de las palabras. That's, yeah. how, that's the difference. Y es lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Te diré mi nombre. Es lo mismo. I'm going to say my name to you or I'm going to tell you my name. Teacher. Yes. Um, if, if I want to say the word, for example, for example I want to say you. Or <coughs> I want to say, I want to say you. Or I wanna I, I want to tell you. I want to tell you. Say you know. No ah, Okay. Ah, okay. Tell, Let me... tell you. Tell. Just tell you. I want to tell you. Uh, yes. It is it is a grammar teacher, but it is uh, it is it is confused for me because Always, uh, I, I I didn't know when I I have to use say say or or tell. I'm going to I'm going to share with you uh, something. I have a book here. In this book, you can see that information. With the, with the, with this. I don't remember the, the, the lesson. I think it's this one. I will look for the information about say and tell, and I will share with you. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to share it with you through WhatsApp. Okay. I will just share it with you soon. Okay. 
Will, will, uh, Wilfredo, do you have any questions about the classes or any confusion about, about topics that we've seen? Mm. Um, yesterday, teacher, I was uh, looking for, for, for any work, but I have a little agent when I, I, I have, I write for, for work, I, I didn't know, mm -hmm. but let me, let me, but yesterday you, you showed us what, when we have to use the third conditional and first conditional. Yes, it was a review, I think. No, yes. it, was, it was the day before yesterday, it was on Wednesday. Yesterday and, and, and, and Wednesday. No, Wednesday. I, I, Really? Ah, I'm so, so sorry. But my, I, I'm, I'm so confused, teacher, but when we had to use that third or first conditional? The first conditional is when there's a possibility. Okay, let's speak. Son tres, tres conditionales, okay? Um, okay. There, are, there are three conditionals, okay? Let me go here. Don't worry about the time, okay? Do not worry about it. We are okay now. I'm just gonna open a document here because I feel comfortable with, with Microsoft Word. Now, let's go here, go to this part. <clears throat> okay, first conditional, the first conditional is used for things that are possible. Look at this, in the presence or in the future, okay? This, yes. this thing, when we're using the, the, the, the first conditional is because what we're saying is possible, okay? It can happen, you know, it is possible. Example, example, I, sorry, if I have time next year, look at this. If I have time next year, si tengo tiempo libre el otro año, I will, will study French. We study Francés. Okay, look at the example. This example is a possibility. Si tengo tiempo el siguiente año. It's possible. Okay, see? Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. That's the first conditional, okay? This is, this is possible. This is uh, sorry, 50 50. This is a 50 50 action, okay? A 50 50. Puede que pase, puede que pase. But the possibility is there, okay? The second conditional is for. Es no lo hemos visto, okay? Es no lo vimos. Yes. Use for things that that are how can i say this that are unlikely to happen unlikely is uh sin probabilidad okay improbable improbable like yeah. like the possibility is very, very, uh, very little, very little, okay? It's a little percentage. For example, if I went, okay, si yo fuera, if I went to the moon, si yo fuera la luna, yes. okay, I would take a picture. Si yo fuera la luna, tomaría una foto, okay? Yes. yes. This is possible, yes, it is possible. But but we're talking about a very a very little possibility. Like you have to yes. be, you have to study to become an astronaut. You have to uh, have a lot of money to pay your studies, and uh, it's it's a. Uh, I would say that there is just one percent of possibility for this to happen. Okay, okay. Like one percent or probably two percent of possibility to happen. 
Okay. Yes. And the third conditional is used for things that never happened, <coughs> never happened in the past. Okay. These, these actions never happen in the past. So the third condition is used for things that never happened in the past, but we are, we express the pause express what the possibility could be, okay? I will tell you in Spanish. Usamos el tercer condicional para, expre para, para expresar acciones que nunca sucedieron, pero aún así expresamos el resultado posible si hubiera pasado. Uh -huh. Right? Now, if I had studied medicine, okay, si yo hubiera estudiado medicina, no lo hice, yes. pasó, ok. It didn't happen. I would have worked in a hospital. Okay. This is the possible result. Okay. Hubiera trabajado. Si yo hubiera estudiado medicina. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Habría trabajado en un hospital. In a hospital. Right? Yes. Yes. The action, la que está en el, en el, en el, in the condition, this action never happened, okay? It never happened, but we are still expressing the result, okay? Que habría pasado, all right? Yes? Uh, yes, yes, teacher. More or less? <laughs> teacher? Yes? Will you, uh, uh, thank you. I, I want to take a picture. Oh, because, go ahead. Uh, no, it is confused because Ah, sometimes uh, grammar in English, it is so hard when we start in English. But, uh, for example, uh, what will be, ha what, what will happen if I was starting English, for example, five years ago? Mm -mm. Si hubiera, ¿Qué hubiera pasado si hubiera, si hubiera estudiado inglés? Es decir, hasta third yes. Now, what would have happened if what I... What would happen if I was starting English? No, no. What would have happened? Because it what would have happened? Uh -huh. What would have happened if I had studied English five years ago? What? I know it is complicated with them. <laughs> yes, yes. No. Uh, I, I am ask you, teacher, and, and I ask, uh, I make it a question, teacher, because um, the last week I have an interview in English. You will have a, an interview next next week. No, the last week. You had one last week. Yes, I oh. had a, a, an English interview. And what happened? Yes, but the um, inter, el, el, el, interviewer or el encuestador. Interviewer, yes. Yes, but he asked me, um, for example, yeah, it is easy question because he asked me that about, uh, tell me, Wilfredo, um, what will happen if you, um, let me, I, I, I don't remember, but he asked me about if, que hubiera pasado si yo hubiera ido no sé, dos semanas después porque piden un inglés eh, de intermedio y avanzado. Mm. Um, he asked me that about, about like that, what will happen if you have an interview two, two weeks in the future? But I, I only have to say him or tell, her, or tell him. Tell him. Tell him. But, uh, I will prepare to have an interview, okay, with you. Um, okay, man. Uh, he told me because I, in my in my curriculum, how do you say in English? Resume. Uh, excuse me. 
Resume. Resume. Ahí está en el chat. Resume. Ah, ok. Lleva tilde. Resume. Resume. Um, yes. He told me, uh, in your resume, um, he says, he says, that you told English um, intermediate level. Mm -hmm. Yes, I told him. But he told me uh, when he asked me some asked me some question. After that, he told me, um, okay, I I I can see that you told intermediate level. Mm, the <laughs> el problema es que me van a avisar. Oh, okay. Yes, but it is interesting, teacher, because sometimes we, we can have a, a good opportunity, opportunities mm -hmm. or bad opportunities talking about English. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes um, English can open many, many doors or close many doors if we can, we, we don't talk English. Yes. Enough to have a, for example, an interview in English. Okay, speak English, okay? Yes. Usamos speak para, para idiomas. Usamos talk para personas. Okay. You, uh, um, uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Because if I talk with another people, I can use I talk. Talk to, talk to. Talk to? Another people. Uh -huh. Talk to another person or talk. Se usa talk to or talk with. Cualquiera de los dos. Talk to or talk with. Speak. Uh -huh. También se puede speak with, pero también el speak es para, para idiomas. Speak English, speak French, speak German. Talk German, no. Uh, talk English, no. I that, speak. Maybe talk to me in English. I see. Ah. Uh -huh. Um, okay, teacher. It is interesting, teacher, because uh, sometimes I is I uh, sometimes I I I I I guess that uh, we don't know enough to to to speak or or to talk with another. Uh, for example, if I want to say um, I don't know enough English to talk with American people, yeah. or I don't know enough English to, to speak with American people. Both are correct. Both, it is correct? Yes, yes. Ah. Okay. okay. Okay, teacher. Do you have more questions? No, nah, it is enough. I, I stole and le robé mucho tiempo, teacher. That's not a problem. That's okay. <laughs> no, it is okay, teacher. Thank you for okay. having me. Okay. Hey, brother, good, teacher. Take care. I will see you on Monday. Okay. Have a good weekend. Okay. Thank you, bye. teacher. Bye. Take care. Bye, bye, teacher.